What are you doing here? I don't want it. I don't want you here. I, I don't want your flowers. I don't want your excuses. I don't want whatever this is. Do you want me to call security? Come on. Just open it. Fine, I'm gonna open it. And then I'm gonna call security. Okay. Charm bracelet with the pumpkin coat. Where did you get this? Uh, I found it online. There were three of them, but uh, only one that was silver. This is just like the one I wanted when I was a little girl. <laughs> How did you know? You told me. That night that we were sampling my wine cellar, you told me that when you were little, all you wanted for Christmas was that. But your adoptive parents wouldn't let me get it for you. It wasn't in Virginia's budget. Yeah, so you tried the old five-finger discount, and you would have gotten away with it, but the, the owner of the store caught you and threatened to send you to Juvie. And you were so scared you never went back. You never saw the bracelet again. I don't remember telling you that. Yeah, well, we were a couple of bottles of wine deep by that point, I think. How do you remember this? I'm, I remember everything you tell me, Carly. Except the part where I asked you to be honest. Carly, I hate that I hurt you. Please, just give me another chance and I will spend my life making it back up to you. What do you say, Cinderella? Let's go try it on. No, don't. I just want you to I don't want try. it. Carly, I... You don't get to walk in here and try and fulfill some childhood wish and assume that I'm just going to forget about the fact that you slept with Connie or Kate or whatever the hell her name is. Okay, like I said, I will do anything and everything you to earn You can't, Johnny. You can't go backwards, and you don't get a do-over. I know that. Great. Then we agree on something, so leave me the hell alone. Carly, wait. Don't touch me. Carly, just please Johnny. listen. You don't understand. You don't understand. Get your hands off of her. Your impulse to step in, but this really is none of your business. That never stopped me before. Hey, pal, none of this concerns you. Is this the Johnny who cheated on you? The very same. And like she said, this is none of your business. Are you an idiot? I don't see how that's any of your concern. Wally, an idiot, would have something going so great and screw it up and throw it all away. Trust me, I, I don't know. Who the hell is this clown? Johnny Zakara. Meet Todd Manning. Your star's father. How do you know my daughter? You and your relation to Anthony Zakara? Yeah, he's my grandfather. Oh. Your grandfather swerved his car into Star's Lane and caused the accident. Is that how you know her? It's one way, among others. What are the others? It was my gun that Star almost used against you. You gave my little girl a gun. I didn't give her a gun. She was over at my place, she saw me put it away. I turned my back, she took it and left. Right. What was she doing at your place anyway? We had business dealings. I bought out her record contract from that guy in Los Angeles. Why would you do that? Because your daughter seems like a nice enough girl. She'd been through a tough time, so I figured I'd give her a break. She doesn't need you anymore. I'm here to help. Oh, well, it looks like she has total faith in you, pal. You stay away from my daughter. While you're at it, you stay away from Carly. Oh, so you speak for her now, huh? So tell me. How does Carly feel about that? The same way I felt when I walked in and saw you in bed with Kate. It's over, Johnny. There's no going back. Now, you know what? Do what you want to with that, all right? It's yours. You can put it in the trash, give it to Jocelyn. It belongs to you now. You didn't have to run interference with Johnny. I can take care of myself. I'm sure that you can, but I'm glad I butted in. Because now I know your soon-to-be ex-boyfriend has been working with my daughter. You really think that's what he's doing? Oh, come on. He gave her a record contract out of the goodness of his heart. And what possible excuse could he have for giving my little girl a gun? He said she took the gun. My daughter was distraught. She had just lost her child. She had lost the man that she loved. At the very least, he is guilty of leaving a weapon out where it is easily accessible. I don't believe that Johnny wanted Star to okay. take that gun. Regardless, Delgado should know about this. 
Because she should be dragging that jerk down to the courthouse for a deposition instead of wasting her time having me banned from seeing my own daughter. Banned? I went to the police station to see my little girl this morning, and there was a visitor's approved list, and my name was not on it. Oh, my God. She'd rather have Star sitting alone in a jail Except cell than spend time alone, with her. she's not alone, and Star needs to know who's in the cell next to hers. Stop thinking about what you told me last night. I know. Yeah. Are you sure you heard Kate right? I heard Kate say to her attorney that some woman named Connie shot the tires out. So if Kate and Connie are the same person... They are. Then Kate Howard is responsible for my granddaughter's death. I can't stand Kate or, or any personality she's using, but I just have a really hard time believing that Kate caused the accident. I was so sure that Sonny was responsible. Yeah, it made sense, you know. He was a gangster trying to eliminate a rival, and I'm more than willing to eliminate him back. But now that I know that it's his girlfriend... What are you gonna do? I'm not sure what you mean. Yeah, you do. You wanted to get into that cell. Was that to see your daughter? Or did you want to do to Kate what you wanted to do to Sonny? Well, for your granddaughter's death, are you going to go after her the way you went after Sonny? Well, I'd be justified, don't you think? You're talking about Kate wasn't in her right mind. It was Connie. I mean, if you believe the whole split personality DID thing... Yeah, I, I do. I know a lot about DID. It runs in my family. Really? Really? So instead of red hair and diabetes, the Mannings get DID? Well, not all the Mannings, not me. Sure about that? Uh, I did pretend to have it once, but that was just to get out of trouble. Look, my sister, and she's a good person. I mean, she's a real snob sometimes, but she's a really good person. And she's big on responsibility. And she has DID. And she's the one who says, and you should listen to this, there's no excuse for bad behavior. Having an altar doesn't justify you running around pulling a bunch of hideous crap. But if the real person can't control it, how can you hold them responsible? My daughter lost her child and the man that she loved, and she's in danger of losing her freedom. She's not going to lose her freedom. She didn't kill Sonny. Yeah, but she tried to. She is her father's daughter. She told me when she was in jail. I tried to kill Sonny. She's going to try and kill Sonny. Let me ask you something. If somebody goes after somebody in your family, you going to let them get away with it? So you're telling me that revenge is in your DNA and you just pass it on to your daughter? I'm telling you that Connie doesn't get a free pass just because Kate wasn't capable of reigning in her disease. I, I can't forgive her any more than you can forgive Johnny. Hey, Mom? Hey, Connie! Hey, I got your message. Everything, everything okay? Yeah, I just wanted to talk to you. Baby, your friend Star was arrested. Yeah, yeah, I know. She was charged with attempted murder. She was trying to kill your father. She went to take she him to... She took him to the crash site to kill him. Sonny told you. I saw it happen. I'm, I'm the one who turned Star in. What? And now I'm going to be a key witness against her. 